My goal for this year is to work on my new comic book series. I have been writing this for over a year and I still don't quite have it completely finished yet. I'm still working on some of the details of writing it. But what I like to do when I do a comic book series is fill up a sketchbook with imagery that relates to the story, whether it just be inspirational or mood setting, or if it's actually part of the story, that's cool too. And I think it's very helpful for me when I'm writing, because when I write comics, I tend to make the story based off the art. I want my comics to be very visually driven. So um, this is a video of me breaking in a new sketchbook with some new gouache paints and uh, my aunt, my wonderful aunt, got them for me for Christmas. So doing stuff like this is so fun for me. It's always been a passion to do comics. I never really get any time anymore to work on my own passion projects, so I'm making time this year. <laughs> and as a result, I think I might have to cut back a little bit on my YouTube videos. I'm still going to post on here every month, but I definitely won't be able to do weekly videos like I have been. So I promise I, I won't forget you guys, though. I'm going to still post some videos on here. You guys will definitely have to let me know if you're interested in comic-related uh, self-published content. Uh, for those of you that are curious, this is a Stillman and Burns mixed media sketchbook. I've never used this one in particular. It's the beta series, so it has a little bit of a tooth on it. I normally get the hot press one, but this one's the cold press. It works really nicely with gouache, and yeah, there's a ton of reviews out there on Holbein gouache, so I'm not really going to get into it, but it is a lot of fun to use. It's different than watercolor because it's a lot more opaque and it leaves a beautiful matte finish. So I love working with gouache. As a working artist, I think it's very important to prioritize your own art as well. And it's really hard to like turn work down that pays you when you just want time to work on your own things. Um, so yeah, you have to cut some stuff out to make time for things. And I spent a lot of uh, last year building up my social media. My goals were building up my social media and sketching more. And I definitely, definitely achieved those. Here's just a few of them. I really enjoy working on toned paper, um, actually also the Stillman and Burns brand sketchbook, but this one I believe is called Zeta, and that's just their toned paper line, so I think it's so fun to add the white highlights and also the dark black shadows along with the graphite, but this is just kind of my couch sketchbook, so I'll doodle while we're just watching shows at the end of the night. So this year my goal is to fill up this sketchbook with gouache studies for the new comic book. And I'm also going to hopefully get done with the pencils for the book. I originally was hoping to finish the book this year, but I just, I don't want to rush it. I think it's a super special idea, and the last thing I want to do is rush it. My other comic book series, Wilder, I did that in just two years, all four books, and it was awesome, <laughs> but I was also um, not as busy as I am now with other projects and different things going on, so I learned a lot of things while working on this comic, and I want to apply that knowledge to the new comic. There's just a lot of different things that I don't want to do again, <laughs> and some new stuff that I think will be really interesting to include. And for Wilder, I used a brush and ink to do all the line art, but for this new comic, I think I'm just going to use colored pencils. 
So it'll look similar to a lot of my illustrations, but probably not as highly rendered. This painting that I'm working on in my sketchbook is just pretty loose and I was just kind of was playing around with the gouache and having a really laid back day. So I love how you can build up your values and just layer right on top. Gouache is truly a magical art supply. And I would love to talk about the topic for the new comic and also like the title and everything, but I want to keep it all a secret until I release it. So yeah, for now you can just uh, kind of speculate, you know? Please definitely let me know if you're interested in hearing more about the self-published comic book route or maybe even just seeing some behind the scenes stuff for creating the artwork. I hope you guys enjoyed this laid back kind of sketchbook session and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful week.